After almost four years, Apple has finally updated the Apple TV 4K. This new version features an updated processor, the ability to calibrate your TV using your iPhone, and a redesigned Siri remote. It still looks the same on the outside, but we're dying to know if they've updated anything else in this shiny black box. So let's tear it down. While the Apple TV's black outer shell looks solid, our IR cameras reveal it to be transparent to IR light from almost every angle, which means you won't have to worry about having perfect aim with that new remote. Speaking of the remote, it takes more than a little IR to see through its metal case, but thanks to our friends at Creative Electron, we have an x-ray sneak peek of what's inside. Underneath the aluminum, there's a Swiss cheese logic board taking up the top half of the remote, and in the lower half we can see the battery. Here's hoping that the battery won't be too hard to remove and replace. See-through vision can only tell us so much, so it's time to dig in. There are some clips holding down the bottom panel of the TV box, and once that panel pops off, we're immediately greeted by a large fan. The previous version of the Apple TV 4K was the first time we found a fan in any version of the Apple TV. Expecting a cable connecting the fan to the logic board, we lift it up carefully, only to find the fan is powered by metal contact pins on the heatsink. Right below the fan, a few antenna cables and some torque screws hold the logic board down. This updated Apple TV 4K has an A12 Bionic processor, which is the same one found in the iPhone XS and XS Max. After the logic board's been removed, all that's left is a large heatsink and the power supply. Overall, a super easy disassembly experience. With the black box out of the way, let's talk about that new Siri remote. It's definitely larger than the previous version, but that's a good thing. It's completely redesigned with a new touch-friendly directional pad that works like a trackpad or an iPod-style scroll wheel. Getting into the remote seems like it'll be easy enough. Two panel lobe screws surround the lightning port on the bottom of the remote, just like an iPhone. But getting inside turns out to be a little more challenging than you might think. After almost stripping the tiny pentalobe screws, which definitely feel larger than the P2 pentalobes found in iPhones, we find that we can remove the small plate covering the lightning connector. But there's nothing else to do on this end. Since we seem to be out of options, we start popping off the buttons on the front of the remote. Super tight tolerances make this a pain, but we're finally able to lift up the touch wheel, which is connected by a small cable to the logic board underneath. The rest of the buttons come off with some brute force, and finally, we have our next clue, some torque screws. We wish those buttons would pop off easier, but once they're gone, you can remove three screws, one for the logic board, and two securing the voice activation button, which lifts right out. A little more prying loosens the black cap at the top of the remote, and then we can slide the guts up and out of the remote from there. On one side of the frame, the logic board is held in place by several screws. On the other, we finally get to the battery which is glued in place, but comes out without much of a fight. The tiny 1.52 watt hour battery comes out with the lightning port. Their cables are soldered together, which will complicate battery repairs. Honestly though, part of us expected this whole remote to be full of glue, so it could be worse. And with that, we've come to the end of our teardown. This Apple TV 4K box shares most of its design with the previous version, which we gave an 8 out of 10 on a repairability scale. It's a super simple device held together by clips and standard screws, and most of its components are modular. So you won't be surprised to hear that this new Apple TV also scores an 8 out of 10 on a repairability scale. The new remote, on the other hand, is a different story. To replace the battery, something everyone will have to do at some point, you'll need to completely disassemble the remote a process that is overly complicated and will scar the beautiful aluminum housing if you're not careful. Hopefully for the next remote redesign, Apple will include a user-swappable coin cell battery like the one we found in the AirTag we just drilled through. 